Hey, you guys, welcome to Lovely News Network. And I want to come out here and talk about this viral story and it's coming from our fifth favorite state, nutty ass New York, okay? So what's going down in nutty New York, you ask? What's going down is that there is a viral video. He appears to be about in his 30s. And as he's getting ready to get off the subway train, he turns around, he starts attacking this old woman. He starts kicking on her face and everything else. And you hear a lot of young guys around just sitting there watching, filming, not rendering any type of help. This video is really sickening. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. I'm ready. Whoa! Oh! 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 All right, so you guys just saw that video, so I'm definitely happy to announce after it went viral all over social media, somebody recognized the man on the video and they contacted the police. The man's name is Mark Gomez. He's 36 years old and he's from Yonkers, okay? So he's been arrested and the news is on top of this story. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a news clip. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. News, New York police arrest a man suspected of repeatedly kicking a woman on board a subway train. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Sandra Bookman. We're going to begin with that breaking news. A suspect is in custody after a woman was brutally attacked on a subway train in the Bronx. And just moments ago, officers escorted 36-year-old Mark Gomez out of the station house. Police accuse him of repeatedly kicking a 78-year-old woman earlier this month on a number two train. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal is in Longwood with the breaking details. Naveen. Good evening, Joe. Uh, police say a community tip is what helped them break this case. And they caught Mark Gomez in lower Manhattan, actually in, in Greenwich Village in the 6th Precinct. And now he's charged with assault. Did it make you feel like a tough guy? His head down and handcuffs on, Mark Gomez was led out of the building, detectives by his side, and he had nothing to say. Why did you kick the old lady? For nearly two weeks, cops were on the hunt to find him after this cell phone video shows the accused 36-year-old repeatedly kicking and punching a 78-year-old woman on the number two train as it pulled up to the 238th and Nared Street station in the Bronx. Police say he's not a stranger to the law, and the 49th police precinct put this picture up of him on their Facebook page. Well, someone noticed and called, and this morning, Gomez was caught in Greenwich Village. As far as that victim, she suffered cuts and bruises, but she's expected to be okay. And many are very happy that he is behind bars, including Detective Dermot Shea. Uh, he tweeted this this morning, again, confirming that the subject wanted for the brutal subway attack of an elderly woman is in custody, further reiterating that the victim was treated and released from the hospital and is getting the care needed, and further thanking the worldwide community for the tremendous assistance for catching him. And tonight... All right, so you guys just saw that news clip, and I, for one, I'm glad that they got this trash off the streets. That man should be charged with attempted murder because the way he was kicking her in her face, she could have had a concussion, she could have had a brain aneurysm, she could have died because it's not like she was some young woman. You know, she was an older woman. He could have killed her with those blows to the head. You know, so that entire situation is really disturbing. But what disturbed me more is the young men who were sitting there watching this filming this and laughing. Now, I understand it's New York. I'm not saying that people should put their own, you know, their own self in harm's way. I'm not saying that. I didn't expect them to necessarily jump in or grab him because what if he had a knife? What if he had a gun? What if he would have killed one of those boys? I'm not saying that. But after the attack, how dare you continue to record and laugh? Not one person on that train said, you know, okay, fine. The threat is over. He's gone. He's gotten off the train. No one reached out to her. Nobody touched her and said, are you okay? You know, what's your name? Let me call the police. Everyone sat there just filming and watching the shit play out. It's insane. So if you don't want to jump in, you don't want to pull him off of her, you don't want to get involved, I understand that. But once the threat is gone, why did nobody go to see about her? What if that was your mother? What if that was your grandmother? We live in a world now where people are just so desensitized, mainly due to, you know, television, movies, and social media. It's really scary. It's scary that when something happens, especially something that tragic happens, the first thing people think, oh, instead of let me stop this, let me try and, you know, rescue her, the first thing they think is let me pull out my cell phone 
and record all of this and yell world star hip hop. We live in such a voyeuristic society, it's sickening. I feel really bad for that woman. All those young boys who sat there recording but didn't lift not one finger to render her any type of help, any type of aid, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves, seriously. And I'm really happy that people stepped up and they got Mark Gomez arrested. He definitely needs to be off the streets. If he can fly out the handle that quickly behind someone who's 78, I don't care what she did. Some folks are saying, well, she was being disrespectful. She cussed him out. She did something. I don't know what she did. I'm hearing all types of different rumors, but whatever she did did not warrant for a 36-year-old grown man, okay, a solid grown man, to kick a female, old woman who's 76 years old in the face. There's nothing she could have done to warrant that type of abuse, okay? If she cussed him out, then he could have cussed her out back and got off the train. All that extra stuff was definitely unnecessary and it was very, very scary to watch. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, coming from Nutty, New York. How do you guys feel about this? And how do you guys feel about these young men who sat there, watched everything go down, and still refused to render that woman any type of help? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.